I've dedicated my life to spitting this boss. I've dedicated my life to fight heavenly wars. I fight the good fight. You can see the scars. God orders my skills. All I wanted to do was to make music that would really speak to people, that would really get to the hearts of the people and merging it with the word of God. For I believe that it is sharper than a two-edged sword and whosoever encounters it surely will receive their testimony. Uh, Wiso is a O in Tapiwaj Konyora. I was a born on the 11th of April 1994 in a family of only four and uh, I'd like to believe that um, I am a Christian before I am a rapper. Then I realize in this life Some people got some hopes and dreams Some got some ways and means Some are just thinkers and some are doers Some are witnesses and some are achievers Just like the elders say Life is what you make it, that's what I'm gonna do I don't wait for the storm to pass One step at a time like Joe It was uh, all in 2018 when I was uh, going to, to Tabernacle of Grace Church, I met a guy, his name is Flaps. He is also a gospel rapper and one of the biggest artists in Zimbabwe. I met this guy and a friend of mine from the neighborhood who knew what I could do and told him that I was also into music. So he came to me and told me about Bring It On concert. So I took so much interest into it to come through for the auditions where people were being revealed to perform to the main concert. So when I attended that, I realized that I didn't have any song to show for it. So I went into the studio and recorded one song that I wrote, which was uh, to portray all the things that I was experiencing everything that I witnessed as a teenager and through all my life, which is called This Life, a song that is uh, more revelatory in terms of the things that young people are facing in Zimbabwe so that they can make successful lives. That was my first song and when I performed it and bring it on concert, people loved it and uh, I was nominated to be part of the main event and when I performed on the main event I got so much great reviews from the crowd many people coming to me telling me how they had been touched deep within them with the lyrics that I was ministering at the concert and when I performed on the main event I got so much great reviews from the crowd many people coming to me telling me how they had been touched deep within them with the lyrics that I was ministering at the concert. And uh, after that day, DJ BK also approached me and told me to give him the song so that he could feature it on his show on Power FM. And through that, many people all over Zimbabwe were just complimenting the song, how it was rich in message and how it was very educative of the things that people are actually facing. So I got encouraged and I told myself that I was going to do an album which I was to drop in 2014. And after working on that mixtape, I released it on 11 April and got an opportunity to be interviewed on a national television ZTV by Prometheus on Zim Hip Hop Report. And after that, I got a lot of attention from people all over the nation who were sending me messages requesting for more songs and there on I met a promoter whose name is Alain Motavengo and also the founder of the gospel group which is called Spirit Praise. He told me that he was doing a tour with a, the renowned gospel artist Babana Mainchara all over Zimbabwe. And because he had listened to my music, he told me that he wanted me to be part of it. Thank 
recuperi, sisko, ja recuperi, ja recuperi. Thank you. I love you so much. My name is Wissa. Prince Mare. Wissa, give it up for Wissa. The most embarrassing experience, uh, I believe, this was in Mashingo when I was on tour with the Charambas. You know, uh, that side, people are not that much familiar with our music in English. And I believe in hip hop as a whole. And coming onto the stage, introducing something new to them, uh, the crowd's reaction was a little bit timid. And people were like a daisy cow, kind of like skeptic to what we were doing for hip hop music is usually associated with drug abuse, with lust, pride, and people just doing things which are immoral in their sight. My scariest moment was in Bait Bridge. Uh, you know, having 5,000 people stand in front of you and being a person of my age, and I was really, really scared because the crowd was angry. It's like uh, there was a problem with the logistics of the concert. It started a little bit late. So people were greatly expecting uh, Babana Bai Charamba to come through to the stage. And before they had arrived, you know, I was obliged to do an opening act for them. And while the crowd was screaming Charamba, 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 the MC called me out and I had to play my tricks so that they would love what I was doing and in the end it ended very well and people bought my CDs a lot. And when we came back to Harare, I started working on the video for the first gospel songs that I had ever worked on, which is This Life, which was featured a lot on uh, many shows on ZBC TV and the same video also got a nomination in the Christian Hip Hop Achievement Awards as the most influential video of the year, which I really saw as a great acknowledgement for something like that had never happened to me in all my life. And I was also nominated for the best upcoming artist. Experience to hope and hope does not put a shame, yeah. nor does it disappoint, but it gives me strength uh, to hold on when everything is out of my lap. Yeah, uh, cause without forgetting on my hood, dipping when things were not good, you had to be there so that I would change my mood uh, of mental incarceration to emancipation, live a life without an occupation, and still be content. Something only you could do when I couldn't do it for myself. Yeah, P.S. Standing next to me is my bro, Whistle. How are you, Whistle? Ah, I'm great, Chafiru. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you finding the awards? Ah, the awards are so exciting, you know. I'm really in cloud nine right now, you know. I'm enjoying myself. Okay. You know, the artists are really gifted and they are demonstrating so much, mm. you know, of what the body of Christ is capable of. And wow. I really enjoy that. My, my main objective for even being a gospel artist is so that souls can come to the kingdom of God and that people can really see how much they are loved by Jesus Christ through the sacrifice that he made to die for them on the cross. So I believe my greatest achievement are the souls out there, people who have listened to what I do and actually being impacted by it. That is my greatest achievement of all time.